What is up everybody? We are back and we are installing car parts and yeah, it's a little bit different than last time. I am bound to crutches for the next couple of months due to a pretty gnarly hockey injury. But what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna let that slow me down from installing car parts and doing exactly what I love to do. So if you remember my Forerunner build, I upgraded the interior head unit on that one because I just thought the tech was horrible on the Forerunner and that is no different than the tech in a Tundra. Tundras, they're old school for their time, very out of touch technology wise, but the easiest way to upgrade that is to get yourself a new head unit. So what I did is I reached out to the Satan. I said, loved your product the last time, what do you got for the Tundra? And here's what they sent me. This is DeSata's brand new touchscreen that they released not too long ago. They've had a couple renditions of it with some touch buttons on the side. Now they've flipped them to the bottom and it's a little bit of a redesigned unit and I'm very excited to see what this looks like. So 10 inch wide touchscreen. Uh, it is curved to blend with the interior body panels and I think that's gonna look really good. New user face, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, and it should really modernize the interior, so I'm very excited to do this. Now, there's not a lot of videos on this because it is such a new unit, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to wire it, we're gonna install it, and then I'll go over just some of the features of this unit. So let me know if you guys have any questions, leave some comments down below, and let me know what you think. Let's knock it out. So it does look a little intimidating with all of these wiring harnesses that it comes with, but I swear these units are typically plug and play, and it does come with a nice installation manual that shows you exactly how it should look wired up before you go to install it in the truck. So this was my only gripe actually on the Forerunner head unit from DeSata was the quality of the microphone was really bad. Now we're gonna install this one. Hopefully they got it fixed from the last time. Here's the connector that it has uh, in case you're able to find an aftermarket version of it. Okay, so it looks pretty crazy and intimidating, but I will say follow these instructions between this diagram, this one, and then this one pinpoints where everything gets plugged into. It is pretty self-explanatory. Now you do have to connect some of these auxiliary cables. I did my best to try to pick that out, and I guess we'll see in the car if we have any problems. But GPS unit, antenna, there is an HDMI. I don't know what this is for because there's some of these labeled front camera in, so I don't think that's it. I believe this is your Apple CarPlay receiver. Uh, you have your microphone, you have one USB tail over here. So very intimidating, but I swear it's plug and play. So let's go take out the existing unit. All right, so this is how I do things now. I just load my pockets. So here's some plastic removing tools to get the old unit out. And then a 10 millimeter socket with an extension. All right, one thing I did off camera was swap over these brackets from the old unit to the new. It self aligns at its angle and then there's just two screws. That's pretty easy. And then this GPS unit, I stuck to the top away from some of these air vents to try to get that out of the way when we install this in here. Okay, so I can tell the antenna, which I didn't plug in, Clearly is not hooked up, so I couldn't find where this antenna plugs in. Okay, so the antenna that is loose in here actually gets plugged in the bottom left of this unit. There we go. All right, now it should work. All right, one thing that I did just learn is there are these yellow clips on the existing head unit. I did lose one, it fell off, but you should swap those over to the new one. 
just like that. Now I'm gonna leave the USB stuffed right here. I am gonna pull the mic out because I don't think I'm gonna use the USB as much as I think I would, but if I do, I don't wanna have to pull this whole head unit out, just have it waiting right there. All right, so now that we have it installed, you can see just how good this thing looks. It almost looks factory the way that this transition blends right into here and that there's no gapping issues whatsoever. It almost looks like it was meant to be in this truck. Now what you can see is it is a gloss finish versus how it was like a matte before. Uh, but similar to my 4Runner, I had no issues with that, uh, like reflecting from the sunroof or the windshield or, or anything else. It was a non-issue in the last car, and in my opinion, it looks a lot more modernized with that glossy background. But what's most important is the functionality of it. So this is the boot-up screen. And that, it's booted up almost immediately, which is actually really nice. The Android system is really fast. So here on the home screen, you have your radio. You have the units, GPS, which I'll probably remove that widget and put something else there. Then you have some of your favorite apps down below here, which you're able to customize, and I did. Now, in my opinion, this looks really nice, almost like an Apple iPhone, the way that it's segmented. I think it looks super clean. So, speaking of iPhone, starting from the left, we all use this for Apple CarPlay, right? So, this is how it connects to Apple CarPlay. All you do is set your phone up on Bluetooth with this unit. You select that you want Apple CarPlay uh, on your phone, and then it literally auto connects to it, and it looks really, really nice. So, very fast and responsive, just like everyone knows how Apple CarPlay functions, and it looks really, really good. This is the purpose for me buying it. This is where I use my phone, I use Spotify, I use Maps, and that's pretty much it. So, very, very intuitive. So, that's Apple CarPlay. Here is how you go to all of the apps on the system so it has loads of them but really I um, primarily use Apple CarPlay and then the second I found useful was this amplifier which is like their equalizer and I have to say I don't know if this has a bigger amp in it or if the equalizer allows you to really hone in these speakers but these speakers literally sound two times as good as they did before like it, it's almost ridiculous how much better they sound so you can equalize it you can change the layout of, of where it's positioned in the truck, and that's a really cool function of that. So you have your radio, and then you have some theme options, some features you can change, some of your dashboard themes. If you want the background to be light or dark, change your brightness, and a bunch of other pretty cool things. And then you have settings, which is a little bit more detailed. This is where you connect your Bluetooth. This is where you rearrange a lot of like your more like setting type things. And then you have a phone option from this screen. Now I tend to revert to Apple CarPlay when I do this, so. That's pretty much it. Uh, in my opinion, it looks awesome. So let me know what you guys think down below. And then the only ding I do have on it is I was able to hook up this mic like I told you guys. I called my wife and I had to like hold it up in front of my my mouth to get it to sound really crisp and I held it a little bit far away and she said I sounded echoey so I may replace this or if you disconnect it it does have a mic right here which is what I reverted to in my forerunner because this mic just wasn't that good so I'll let you guys know in a later video what my thoughts are on that so other than that looks awesome and that is a wrap first Thank you to Desata for sending this out. This thing's an absolute powerhouse, and I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to pick one up for yourself. Hopefully this video is helpful for you. Super easy install. Totally transforms the look of the truck on the inside and just use your experience while you're driving. So I would 10 out of 10 recommend. So stay tuned for the next one. A lot of mods coming for this truck. We'll see you later. Peace.